while it's been a minute <laughs> and I've missed you guys and I, I actually forgot how long it's been I'm running weeks it's been it's been quite a few it's I, I, I don't think it's clicked no, it's not to me or clocked to me that you haven't been on when was the last time you were on um well we did a pre-record on your birthday that was the last time I was on <laughs> so it's been a while then yeah well we you probably want to type welcome back Rebecca in the comment <laughs> section <laughs> while we have been praying she has been playing but uh, god bless her oh. <laughs> I was not playing, I'm telling you. I wish I was playing. I am um, I'm looking forward to Christmas and hoping for some playing at that time. Hopefully Monopoly. Someone might get it me for Christmas. You never know. I um but I it's I don't like Monopoly unless I win. I'm too competitive. You know when you play it's such a long game. If you're not winning, it's boring, isn't it? So I'm anyway. Be the you what? I'm be the I'm always the banker. Oh, Winston's always the banker. Can we can we show Winston? Can we show the banker? On the white <laughs> There's Winston. Winston. Okay. Winston's the bank. Oh, I get it, because you cheat. Right, okay, okay, I see. I'm, I know who I'm not playing with. <laughs> but um, anyway, why, why were we talking about that? Oh, yeah, so it's been a, been a while I've been here, and James doesn't feel like I've been away, so which I, I hope is a good sign and not like, actually, I didn't miss you. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Do you know what? We've had some amazing, incredible worship leaders who have stepped in and um, some some for the first time, right? Yeah, we've, we've had actually, I, I can't remember honestly. It's, it's all it's all a blur right now. <laughs> oh yeah, and and then some some new faces, some old faces. Um, uh, were any of you with us for the shift conference? Whether you were online or in person, give us a wave. How did you find it? I th I thought it was incredible. Is that that's on our platform, right? Yeah. So if you were in there and you're wondering <laughs> what we're talking about, we had a conference this, this last weekend that was incredible, and you can catch up with that on our platform. Just go to prayerstorm.org. <laughs> Actually, we have a new site, so that's exciting. And so we're going to be doing lots of new things. We have an app coming up, so watch this space. We'll be letting you know about that. I want to actually introduce someone that's here with us. We've got a full house tonight. Yes, so we have. We have uh, our uh, Hong Kong friends are back. Yes. <laughs> we've got Sonny on electric guitar. We've got Justin on drums. Obviously, you all know Winston. We've got Winston on bass. But we also have another good friend of Press Storm, Alan Taylor. Hi. Alan is right here with us. And he is in the corridor because I don't know if you realize how small <laughs> this room is that we tend to have these meetings in. So there's no space for another person to fit in here. So Alan is in the corridor and we're going to be worshiping and praying together. And we're so excited to have you with us, Alan. It's going to be yeah. awesome. 
really looking forward to tonight. Oh, great, great. So um, I think we should just go straight into it. Tonight we're going to just spend time worshiping the yeah. Lord and spend time in prayer as well. And so I just want to encourage you to just make some space right now, wherever you are, uh, to just uh, seek the Lord. Uh, I don't know what your day has been like. Uh, just uh, tune out of all the business and all the things that's been going on and just make some space for God to speak to you, but for also uh, uh, God to pray through you, whatever is on his heart in this time. So over to you, Rebecca. Yeah. So, Lord, we thank you for tonight. We thank you for your presence. Oh, Lord, we thank you for your calling. And just, uh, you know, as I'm saying that, I, I just I just hear deep, deep calling to deep and, you know, the depths of him calling to the depths of us. And so, Lord, we, we respond to your call and your calling right now to come into, to come into your presence, Lord, to come into deeper, just a deeper walk with you tonight, Lord. Mm. Would you lead us? Mm. You are everything we seek, Lord. You are everything that we seek. I love the words of this song, actually. I forgot that, actually, the words of this song in the bridge says, now you're everything we seek. As deep cries out to deep, we will seek God. I love in, the, in his <coughs> word it says, when you seek me and you seek me with all of your heart, you will find me. So, Lord, we just say we will seek you with all of our hearts and we will find you. We will seek God. Mm.
take your place we will see God now you're everything we seek as deep cries out to thee we will see God we will find you Lord he you say, Lord, if we seek you, oh, we seek you with all of our hearts, we will find you, we will find you. So, Lord, how can we resist your promises? seek you cause we will find you we will see God how can I resist all your promises when I seek you with all my heart now you're everything we see
only glimpses I want to see more I want to know more I have only seen glimpses Oh, they've been beautiful They've been wonderful They've changed my life John 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. And the Word, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him all things were made. Without Him nothing was made that has been, nothing was made that has been made. In Him was life, and that life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, but the darkness has not understood it. There came a man who was sent from God. His name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning that light, so that through him all men might believe. He himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to the light. The true light that gives light to every man was coming into the world. You say that. The true light that gives light to every man was coming into the world. Say every. Every. Every man has, poss- has the possibility and the opportunity to see God because of Christ. He is the light of the world and He has entered into our world. He was not satisfied remaining in heaven he was he was compelled to come and and put on flesh to put on flesh just like we have flesh he put on flesh and he became visible and the holy spirit is here tonight to point us to jesus as we've been singing about the light we're singing about jesus we're we're singing and we're praying and we're proclaiming the light of the world has come in jesus christ Yes, Lord. Thank you tonight. You're going to reveal more of your son, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We cannot know you, Father God, without your son, Jesus. We thank you. You are the way to the Father. You are the light. You reveal God to us, Jesus. You are the final and the fullest revelation of God. And where many will have ideas about God. We know who God is. We know it is the the God-man, Jesus Christ, the light of the world. And He has come into the world. We don't have to speculate. We don't have to wonder. We can see this man in Jesus as the light of the world, as the light of God. The true light that gives light to every man was coming into the world. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Praise you Lord. We give you praise. Yes. We give you honor. We give you glory. We just declare that your light is sufficient for us. Yes. We do not need an, we do need, need extra light. We don't need um, some renewed light. We don't need new, new technology of light. We have the light of the world in Jesus yes. Christ. There's nothing that will surpass this person, the the Son of God becoming flesh. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You're not an abstract concept. Thank you, Lord. You're not a good idea. You're not a philosophical concept. As we look at this Advent season, we look at the arrival, we celebrate the arrival of God becoming man. We just celebrate that there is there is clarity for humanity now. There in a year, age and a year and a generation of confusion. We just declare there is clarity in Jesus Christ. There is the light of the world for every man, 
every man, every nation, every tribe, every tongue, every generation, the light has come for every man. Thank you, Lord. Yes. We just pray now for every man. Why don't you lift up every man in your neighborhood? Why don't you just lift up every man, every woman, every child in your family? Every man, woman, and child in your, in your church, in the school, where you belong right now. Let's lift up and say, the light of the world has come and be revealed to them. It's for all men. It's for all men. The light of the world is for all men. This isn't a religion. This isn't an institution. This is the very real, true, living God, Jesus Christ. You are the light of the world. Thank you, Lord. You've entered into the world. We don't have to wonder. We don't have to be confused anymore. You've given us clarity. You have clarified to us. You have spoken, not just through the prophets, but through your son in these final times. And we just praise you for that. We praise you, Lord Jesus. Yes. for the church this is a moment of visibility for the church it's not time to hide away it's not a time to be quiet this is a time of visibility for words to be spoken for prayers to be prayed for, for care and love of those who most need it yes. this is a time of visibility the light of the world has come Holy Spirit would you manifest your light upon Yes. And so, Father, we agree with that prayer, Lord. And we said it's time for us to rise and shine, for our light has come and the glory of the Lord is rising. So, Father, we say let there be light. Let there be light over our communities. Let there be light over our families right now. Where there is darkness, Father, your word says darkness does not comprehend the light. So, Lord, we turn on the light in the spirit right now, Father. We say, God, let your light shine forth, Lord. In the darkest places, in the places of great bondage and deception, we say, let your light break forth in Jesus' name. Let there be light, Lord. We expose every deception with your light. Let your light break in. Jesus is our light. Jesus is the light. Therefore we say let that light shine. for light to shine in the Muslim communities, yeah. in our nation, right now, in among the nation. We want to pray for light. We want to declare that Jesus is the light to Muslims all over this nation, where they have an idea of Jesus. Let them see the full revelation of the God-man. Let their light shine in their dreams at this time. Let light shine in their houses at this time. Would you enter in? 
Enter in through satellite TV. Enter in through yeah. the internet. Enter in, Jesus. Enter in through friendships. Let light, light, light come into Muslim communities. Let light shine in our Muslim neighbors, our neighborhoods, Lord. Pakistani communities. Yes. We declare light in the Pakistani communities. We declare light in the Pakistani communities. Multiple generations of Pakistanis in this nation. We declare light into them in Jesus' name. We say light, light, light. Let there be light shine like never before. I see light coming into Pakistani communities. I see light coming into Pakistani communities. I see a, a, a revival in Pakistani communities. I see a revival coming out of, of, of curry houses and, and restaurants and Pakistani owners. I see revival, I see awakening, I see light. I see light in the, the, in the mosques in Jesus' name. I see light among the elders of these communities. I see light, multi-generation light.
Muslim, where they've been, where they've been unknowingly cursing themselves and restricting their lives and their spirits. Lord, would you break them free tonight? Yes. We declare freedom and deliverance tonight from the darkness and the words and the and the dark prayers that they've prayed. Lord, where where they have spoken into their lives darkness, we speak light. Yes. Where they have spoken yes. death, we speak light. Yes. In the name of Jesus, yes. we just speak a release of your light yes. in your life. Yes, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. In the name of Jesus, break into their minds, break into their dreams. Yes. Lord, even, even on their behalf, we speak repentance, Lord. Yes, Lord. Of wrong words spoken, Lord. And I just even speak repentance of the church where we've rejected. Yes. Where we've rejected Muslims, where we've reje re rejected our brothers and sisters who have come as immigrants or refugees, Lord. Yes, God, Lord. forgive us where we've yes, been ignorant, Lord. where you have sent Save us, where you have sent us souls and we've rejected them and judged, Lord. Would you forgive us, God? And we just want to say, Lord, yes. who you send, we will take. Gladly with open arms, Lord. Who you send, we take, Lord. God, and we just even fight on behalf of our brothers and sisters. Lord, who are, who are bound and tied by darkness, who are in deceit, Lord. We speak light over their mind, Lord. The spirit of wisdom and revelation to light be a light in their mind right now. That they are able to see clearly for the first time, Lord. Open their eyes, yes, God. Lord. Yes, Lord. And yes. I just I just even speak <coughs> over over them as they get saved, it will be safe for them. Yes. That you will give them safety, that yes. you will give them household and community yes. salvations, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, we yes. thank you for we thank you for sending us and trusting us with so many Muslims, Lord, because we yes. know that. Once they are saved, they are a prayer movement. Yes. <laughs> they are a culture of prayer, Lord. Thank you for sending us people ready to pray. Lord, they don't know it, but they are so a coming movement of prayer in this nation that will be great catalyst for revival, Lord. So we ask for a turnaround, Lord. Yes. Where they've been praying in darkness, would you bring light to their to their minds? Would you bring revelation and insight even to their prayers, Lord? We thank you for sending a prayer movement for us, Lord. <laughs> Lord, we're sorry where we've been ignorant and rejected it as a church, Lord, or or spoken in fear or ignorance or or meanness. Lord, we just we just speak even a, an yes. acceptance of them, Lord. Yes, Lord. We love your children, just like yes. you love your children. We love yes. them too, yes, Lord. Lord. For we are your disciples, Lord, that, 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 and it says in your word, we will be known as your disciples for our love for yes, one another, Lord. So we will show love, God, <laughs> yes, even in our prayers, Lord. God, where there's, there's a deception and prejudice in our own hearts, would you bring healing and light to that in the name yes. of Jesus, Lord? That we yes. will pray with honesty, that we will pray Seba. with sincerity yes, for the Lord. Muslims, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I just have this word, safe house. Yeah. I just feel like, you know, the church sometimes can condemn, can say things like, 
you know, we're dead against something like abortion or something, but we don't call for adoption. We're not mm. calling for the solution, what mm. we need. And, and praise God, there are ministries now calling for fostering and adoption. And I feel like there's, there's ministries that are going to be raised up around this nation. They're going to be like safe houses. Mm. And there's going to be Muslim women who are going to get saved out of the Pakistani community. Yeah. They're going to get saved and they're going to find safe houses. They're going to find a place of love. Yeah. And it's almost going to be like, it's going to be refuge. There's going to be these refuges. It's like they're almost, there's like asylum. They're getting out of one religion into, into relationship, into yeah. safety, yeah. into a place of love. And they're going to be set free. They're going to be set free from the, the, the attachments of this religion. And we do speak forth the, the turning around of these prayers that have been prayed. That Lord, that you and your grace would turn the prayers that are binding them and you would use them in some miraculous way to free them, Lord. Even as they, even as, as Muslims might curse themselves with the prayers and bind themselves with religion, that you would somehow turn those prayers around and, and release them by your grace. You would use use something in their religion, something in their in their lives that would actually free them and help them see you, Jesus, that they would get set free. We just pray, Lord, for, for freedom for Muslims and safe houses and safety from violence and threats and condemnation. And we just declare the church to be ready to welcome and receive and love and bring healing and bring healing and bring healing and bring healing. We pray for a, for a mighty move of your spirit, Lord, that would, bring, that would bring tangible places of refuge and safety for those that are going to come out of, of old religion and death, Lord, into life and relationship with you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you've got something waiting you got something waiting and we, we just agree with what you're saying is waiting, which is on the, it feels like I just get the senses on the shelf and, and I feel like we're children in a, a like in prayer, we're children in a, in a sweet shop. And there's all these, all these, these, these beautiful things that God, that, that these sweets that kids want to have. I want to have this. I want to have that. And that we're just saying, yes, we want something from that shelf. Lord, you have something good. And these sweets are not bad for us. They're good for us. They're, they, they satisfy us. They're the desires of our heart. And God wants to bless us with something not just for ourselves, but something that's actually that's something so much deeper. It's something about the mission of God yes. that goes way beyond our, our, our safety or what we feel we want or need our needs, but something of someone else's needs. He's saying, I want to give you, I want to give you um, uh, people into the kingdom. And we're saying, yes, Lord, bring it forth, Lord. We're saying, yes, we want that, Lord. We want to see Muslims come to faith. We want to see transformation. We want to see solutions. We want to see your church incarnate solutions. Sierra bosore lele boyanama. Sierra da bosore lele boyanama. Sierra da Your blood is enough to break. Every chain in your blood is enough to break. Every chain in your blood is enough to break. Every chain. Your blood is enough.
deception, every word that binds people in bondage, Lord, and we particularly pray for the, these Muslim communities in our nation, that there would be freedom, there would be light, that the cross of Christ is the sufficiency yes. for relationship with the Father. We just declare that the words, the prayers spoken um, would bring light. There would be light even as they pray. There would be light mysteriously. Yeah. You bring light into mosques. You bring truth into mosques. You bring love into mosques. You bring your presence. Jesus, would you enter into mosques up and down this land? Lord, we thank you that you are not far from Muslims. You are not far from Muslims. You are not far from Muslims. You are not far from these mosques. You are not far from them. Lord, we just declare your presence, Lord, that you, Lord Jesus, that you created and up, yes. you uphold all things, that you are present in these mosques. So we just ask, Lord, that you'd manifest your presence and your visibility would break through even in the mosques of this nation. Even among the imams of this nation, we just pray for them, Lord, that your love and your grace would be revealed to them in, the, in Jesus' name. That you would you would show yourself, Lord, to them by your spirit. Yes, Jesus. We don't trust in our prayers, Jesus. We trust in the in who you are, Jesus, and what you've done on the cross. We just lean into that and we declare, Lord, that what you've done on the cross, you coming, becoming man. God, man, it reveals and releases life and light onto this planet. For every man, there is no one that is outside of your grace and your, your hand of goodness and love. And we declare, Lord Jesus, that there is awakening in mosques up and down this land. There is revival in mosques in Jesus' name. Yes, Even this Christmas, Lord, let it be, Lord. Even this Christmas, Lord, let the gospel be heard in, among the Muslim community like never before, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Break every chain, Lord. Break every chain, Jesus. Yes. Break every chain of Christians unwilling to speak, unwilling to share, unwilling to love, unwilling to accept. Break the chains of the church in Jesus' name. Let there be freedom in the church to live out and pronounce the gospel of Jesus Christ amongst Muslim communities up and down this land. In Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Break everything. Yes, Lord. Lord, we agree. 
Father, break every chain. Chains of intimidation. Chains that will shut our mouths and win witnesses. We say, Father, let your blood begin to break every chain and let your power be on display. Your power be on display. Lord, we say, Father, let the gospel, let the word of the Lord run swiftly and be glorified in the Muslim community. Let the word of the Lord run swiftly and be glorified. Father, we declare that imams will become evangelists for you, Father. Lord, we declare that terrorists will become warriors for you, God. They'll become spokesmen for the gospel, Father. Lord, we say, Father, turn it around. Well, the enemy is meant for evil, Lord. Let your love, let your blood break every chain, Lord. a great word as we pray I revealed myself to those who did not ask for me <laughs> isn't that all of us <laughs> isn't that all of us he chose us didn't he he chose us you think you chose God he chose you make no mistake I was found by those who did not seek me to a nation that did not call on my name I said here am I here am I. Yeah, Lord, we're so grateful that you search, you go after us, the lost sheep, and there's those who are in these communities up and down this nation, and you're revealing to those who are not even asking for you now, and you're going to just hijack their lives. You're going to just, like you've done to all of us, you've surprised us. Yeah. You've taken over the story of our lives. We had an idea of what our lives would be, but with you, Lord Jesus, it is a different, it's a different thing completely. And we thank you that that is what you're doing as we pray. We know we're joining in with your heart, Father, for many of your children who are lost right now. You might not even know the loss or may not be seeking, but you are, you are extending your hand of mercy and love. You extending your hand, you say, here am I, here am I. Right now, Lord, would you just declare that? Would you just, would that be echoing in people's hearts right now? Muslims up and down this nation, here am I, here am I. Would it get louder and louder and louder and louder? Would it become so resounding in their spirits that you are there, that you are near them, that you, are, you, are, you have, a, have a life for them, you are light to them, Lord? Would you do something? 
right now, Lord. Not through our, not through what we can do, but through what you want to do, yes, Lord. Jesus. We just agree with you, Lord. We agree with you. Align our, ourselves with your heart, Father. We align, we reorder our prayers around yes. your compassion and your love and your grace. Zira Mama to a nation that did not call on my name. I said, here am I, here am I. To a nation that did not call on my name. I said, here am I. That's our declaration, Lord Jesus. Bring Bring that word to life. Put flesh to that word, Lord. Let send, send it. Let there be just songs that go out to people tonight. Let there be text messages. Let there be unusual dreams and visions tonight. Let there be breakthrough tonight, Lord Jesus, because you're declaring, here am I, here am I. Would you declare that over those you know now, over maybe your Muslim neighbor, your friend, say, declare over them, here am I, here am I. I just get this, this feeling you're, you're coming to your heavenly father with your Muslims, Muslim friend in arms. And the Lord is saying, here am I, here am I. Bring them, bring them to the throne room now. Because the father wants to say something. And as we bring them, we, we agree that you are doing something in this moment. You're saying, here am I, here am I. Here am I, here am I. Do you hear that? In the spirit. Thank you for showing yourself to those that are not even seeking. Thank you for revealing yourself as prayers as arise, as incense arise. In that moment when you encountered Saul, 
on the road to Damascus. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> he wasn't even seeking for you, but Lord, you encountered him in a radical way. Yes. Because I believe the church had been praying for yes. their enemies, praying yes. for those that were persecuting yes, them Lord. as you commanded them to. Yes, Lord. So Father, even right now, we know a lot of believers are being persecuted, even by radical Islamists and all kinds of craziness going on in different parts of the world, not just, you know, in the ones we hear on the news. But Father, we are saying, God, that even those that are the persecutors, like Saul, you would radically encounter them, even though they're not searching for you, even yes. in this time, Father. You turn their hearts around. Yes. You turn the heart of stone to flesh. Yeah, we just take on this ministry of intercession, Lord. We just receive and participate in this ministry of intercession where there are those who are not seeking you, but we're saying, Lord, you're going to appear to them. Where they're not seeking you, and you're just gonna turn up in their lives and turn them upside down and start to change the whole story of families and households and even nations and destinies. This is our ministry, Lord. This is your ministry, Lord. Because it's your ministry, we make it our ministry. This ministry of intercession where those who are not even seeking you are gonna encounter you because we're joining in with your heart, Father tonight and every day we join in with your prayers for those who do not know you and not even seeking you yet what a privilege what an honor what a ministry you've given us Holy Spirit right now. Holy Spirit, are we done? Or have yeah. you got an assignment for me in prayer right now? Yeah. Or do you want to speak to me right now? So, you know, carry it. Yeah. You can repeat the video, pray it back, play along. We have other videos as well and different resources and you can look up some um, something called flow sessions if you just want some music to pray along to and there's nothing, no voices, no, no singing just pure music to pray along to so look for flow sessions prayer storm um, and we will see you on Monday with a special surprise um, live a special surprise live um, that we are excited to be watching along with you and um, want to say bless you and goodbye and see you next week Thank you.